Zan Buggy. Hello, and welcome back to Death Road to Canada. What if the apocalypse was a cool road trip with friends? What if those friends were a ninja a janitor with an ultra mop and a Valkyrie with Mjolnir? We seek to answer those questions now. Probably followed by another playthrough, because there wasn't a huge amount of time left. And I, of, co I of course, am Plumbus. <laughs> the horror continues. Yikes! Maybe I should make a Jeffrey Pants character. Well, I don't know if choosing no skills is an option. The group is surprised by a large horde of zombies. While scavenging, they run into a house for shelter and to plan their next move. Okay. Whew. Made some decaf coffee for this exact situation. Let's try to survive. My best odds yet. And I mean my oddest bests as well. I just keep your flashlight, sure. Go ahead. Valkyrie has a flashlight too, just in case. Oh, let's switch that to the main one, because come on. All right. Let's get right into it then. Return to shadow! Oh, they're coming through the roof. What the hell is that? Start getting overrun, I'll of course have to turn on shooties. Break up my own shooty shooty. Oh my guy's getting tired. Why does Ultra Fit never work out? So tired from swing your pickaxe. Yay! It's okay, there's just a couple left. We got this. Even though we're all tired and stuff. There we go. So tired and stuff. Mmm. There's some food. Piece of wood. <laughs> How about no? Yeah, let's go. Cool. Only 63 zombies, not bad. Oh yeah, I guess the super janitor is dead because Valkyrie killed them. <laughs> um, plus two shooting for Anissa? It's really all about that fitness. Well, we'll do Anissa plus two shooting. I mean, yeah. <laughs> All right. The shooting's practically neutral. Oh man, I gotta spend those zombo points. Uh.
Okay, hang on. I gotta spend the Zombo points. Whoa. So this is me, apparently. Uh... That's okay. Uh... Okay, let's just keep looking around. Perks and traits, more info. That's it? Okay. Well, perks and traits. Um, maybe more info. I'll have a quick look at more info, because I feel like... All the days left are just a blinking maple leaf? Okay. Repeat the tutorial? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> All right, good to know. No, I only just started making data today. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting under more info, but it appeared to be just, uh, you know, some more info. Who are you? Alright, whatever. It doesn't matter, I suppose. What the... What do those numbers mean? So, you get to upgrade certain classes here, basically. Does it tell me what they do? Blessed with an interesting life. Much greater chance of finding a weird building or character in city looting. Normal chance 10% with trait 50%. Wow. Let's keep chopping around a bit. I mean, Ultrafit would get better. What else gets better here? Athlete? Okay. What about Mega Buff? Metal Pipe? Pretty cool. I'll do Ultra Pet, see what happens. We gotta spend these points somewhere. What does this do? Four points of fitness. Sure. That's the maximum level. It's big bruiser. What does that do? I don't like that slower walking speed. That'll kill me. 
Jeffrey Notepants character? I haven't made one yet. It's in Gormond. Uh huh. Oh no, that's not good. Friend of Dog. <laughs> All right, I'm thinking friend of dog actually, but where's Gunslinger yet? Okay. Fighter, friend of dog, or gungeoneer? I'll take fighter. Let's cast upgrade fighter again. Three. Okay. Both friend of dog. Okay. All right. Well, that was the upgrades. Now back to the game. Now, does Plumbus get all those bonuses already? No, I don't think he does. His would just be the fitness because he's ultra fit. It couldn't hurt to team up with more survivors. Actually, I could. Someone died the last time we tried that because there was already too many. Uh, at the end of the day, the group hides in the drafty old house. Some zombies roam around outside and the doors of the house are barely on their hinges. Should someone barricade the house? Yes. Valkyrie, barricade it! Valkyrie barricades the flimsy house. She nails some planks on some doors, but they keep falling off. Valkyrie's wits and mechanical are revealed to be terrible. Everybody is hurt. Oh my god. Should have stayed up all night on watch. Couldn't serve your water. You don't want to run out of water and stuff. There's a large horde of zombies on the road ahead. Groups ensure if they can get through them or not. Seek shelter in house. Group hides in the nearby house to wait for the horde to disperse. The zombies end up becoming agitated in the attack. Alright, let's try it. Yeah, we're good from last time, I think. It only really makes the screen rumble. Keepers. Ooh, plus 31. Yeah, uh, gas. Yeah, nice. Let go of me. We're still good, we're still good. Alright, maybe we should start shooting. Yay! Technically over.
Whoops. Shot the table for no reason. Or for reasons only Plumbus knows. You got that? I got it. Oh yeah, Four Nights to Canada. I see what you mean. Cool. Thanks. Ooh, some food though. It's handy. Let's get the heck out of here. Yes. Heck gotten out of. All right. Oh, it's bumpy. Oh, and this tries to help, but lacks enough medical supplies. Yeah, we gotta get some more of them. Group stumbles upon a Swoloflex home strength and fitness machine. You don't see these much anymore after all. The lawsuits against it and the government ordered recalls. All for Plumbus. The machine clamps Plumbus in place for its innovative gymnastic simulator. A high tension cable snaps free and whips around. There's no time to react to it. Plumbus's fitness increases. Plumbus is hurt. Avoid further injury. <laughs> I think both options do the same thing. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Um. Warmed rest stop, probably more likely to find medicine there. Oh. Maybe somewhere even better than that for medic medicine, medication. Group decides to burn some more gas. Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. Bullet ridden house, dark mansion. Ooh. Some bullets had a ride on this house. That sounds like fun. Let's go there. Might be some medical in there. Group sees a house from a distance. On getting closer, it looks like a large gunfight happened here between humans. From the house, many groans of the undead can be heard. Alright, let's go. It's only around noon. Don't need the flashlight then. Maybe if we went to the dark place. You don't need that hatchet. You've got Mjolnir. How badly hurt am I? Not too badly. Everybody's a little hurt, though. My fitness went up, though. Thanks to the home exercise experience. Die, bad zombies, die. Alright. Oh. Something in here. There we go. It's pretty much always gasoline. In the toilets, anyway. What? The what? Ninja, did you just take that freaking assault rifle? Or whatever it was. I mean, have a look. I guess I'll give it to you because you actually have a the ammo port. Yeah, good stuff. Ooh. Handgun rounds, not bad. Some medical. Somebody get that purse? No, so that goes the pitchfork? Okay. It's not bad to start.
Mm. Well, unfortunately, small amount of food and medical supplies. Can you heal Plumbus? All for Plumbus? Everything smells a lot different than it did before a soap around here. The group camps in a sturdy building. It seems to be an old repair shop with busted machinery laying around. This would be a great time to train with repairing things, but that would make a lot of noise. Let's go to sleep. We have a Prius. It's great. Look at all the smoke coming out of the hood. It's surprising how long a burger or hot dog takes to go bad. The group gets a rare peaceful moment to relax on an apartment roof. There's time to talk and someone reveals a lot about themselves. Ninja? That sounds interesting. Ninja reveals her true essence. She's terrible at shooting, at mechanics, at medical. Eh, she's, she's a bit witty, a little bit. And she's got a bad attitude, but she's very loyal. It has started to rain over the city. The zombies become more aggressive in response for reasons that have not been explained. Pharmacy. Definitely pharmacy. It's near noon. Why do you have... That. Just go away. Ninja. I... Okay, you know what? That's actually not... The worst thing in the world, but... Rowing stars. Girl? What? There we go. AK-47. You can go with that instead. It's pretty awesome. Valkyrie! I mean, you can carry this handgun, I suppose? I have a feeling like Mjolnir's like already very handgun ask, ain't it? Alright. Let's do it. Here comes the Prius. Can we change this from being able to shoot yet? There we go. Until it gets, you know, close. Start down here. It's only a uh, quarter to twelve in the afternoon. Just junk. Let's get out of there. Want to get that? All right. Good work. Pointless. Leave it alone. He misses. Alright. Woohoohoo, some food. Good, good. Nothing in there but zombies. Or there. Come on, ladies. Let's get out of here. They're still shaking the ground. Ooh, garbage can food. Not bad. 
garbage can got a bit broken there. That's fine. Medical. Perfect. Zombies splattered everywhere. Also very good. Ah. The kitchen. Home of some food. Huzzah for the food keep. Oh. This was indeed a very good house for food. Oh, what about you? Oh, shotgun shells? Good, good. You know what, I might as well search the last house down here. Medical. Good stuff. Hammer, don't really need it. Splattered zombie, always good to see. Shiny toilet, you say? Always good for gasoline, them toilets. Remember that if the world ends. Come in handy. Oh, more garbage can food. Super. Not bad, I haven't even got to the pharmacy yet. There it is. I don't like how many zombies there are around here. But the zombies are kind of backing off now and thinning out, so if they were continuing to press in, now would be the time. Alright everyone, let's catch our breath. Ninja, catch your breath. Catch it. Catch it. Alright, fine. Caught enough, I suppose. All right, whole bunch of medical. That was it, right? Yeah, that was it. Oh my God. I think it might be time for weapons free. Smashing. And what about behind the Prius? Just some more zombies. All right. Should have tinkered all night. Yay! The group finds a cabin in the woods with no zombies in sight. It has a wood stove in it, but no wood! Uh, just go to sleep? Uh, 
I don't know what we do for a fire other nights. Or... While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Oh. Cabin with car. We do kind of need a new car. Ah, the group finds a car sitting along the country road. It's in great shape and seems like it's been recently driven. A cabin is visible in a little to the north. Oh, wow. Well. Okay, they're very sparse right now, which is great. Some gas hidden behind there, which is also very good. That was just some because I stepped on. It's not that thick with zombies. Maybe I should hurry. Oh my god, the cabin's thick with zombies though. Alright. Guns out. Shotgun! No, cowboy rifle. Never mind. We already have one of those. Uh, we can go back to smashing now. Until further notice. Until... <laughs> until I notice more zombies, to be precise. Ah, so many guts. Ah. Uh, I think we're okay. Still thick, but it's a smaller room. Yeah, there we go. Not that there was anything in here at all, but we managed okay. Oh! Don't forget the food. Anything else around? I mean, other than a bunch of zombies? Just four people tempting fate? nothing over here. Alright, back to the new car. Which is very cool looking. Yeah. The car looks like it's in really good condition, but where are the keys? Aww. Oh. Were they in here? Oh no, there's so many zombies coming now though. I guess we're going back in the Prius, everybody. Only took 23 times to start it. Oh my god. Ooh, that's not looking good. Things are going good now. We need to be prepared for lots of stuff. Car is broken down from use and abuse to one start up. Let's abandon the car. 
Wasting no time, the group decides to ditch the car and walk until they find a new vehicle. Alright. The group gets sandwiched by zombie hordes while on a cliffside road. Without a car, the only way to escape was by jumping and hoping for the best. The fall was painful, but not fatal. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh dear. While walking along side a large stream, Valkyrie notices some fish in the water. Valkyrie tries their luck, goes into the water, and tries to catch some fish by hand. By some miracle, Valkyrie was able to catch a decent-sized catfish. Awesome! The group finds a rest stop after hours of walking along the road. Right in front of it is a car that looks like it could be driven. The keys must be somewhere near. Check out that car. Check it out. Apparently this is calm. Did the other one just not have keys around? Get some of that sweet vending machine food. Why not? Oh, it's a lot of zombies. Okay, go back to smashing. There's the keys! Got it. Now we have a car again. Pretty sure that... Why is Valkyrie using the pitchfork instead of Mjolnir? Can't tell me that's better. Did you just drop Mjolnir? What the hell are you doing? You have a magic hammer and you pick up a hatchet. Where did you even drop it? So many zombie guts I can barely see. Well, I don't see it in here anywhere. I swear to God, Valkyrie. Did it break? Mjolnir? Oh, and this I had the mechanical upgrade? Oh. Uh. Well, we have a new car now, anyway. <laughs> no upgrade required. seems weird that you lost Mule in your Valkyrie. Isn't Thor going to be kind of pissed when you come back without it? Okay, okay. Let's get out of here. Tempt fate no more. Oh yeah, only four tries to start that. It's way better. I mean, especially than better than no car at all. Alright. The group finds a professional car garage. The sign says, Car Pros. They find some gas and lots of scrap metal. Just need time to tinker. Ooh, repair and armor the car. 
I've never needed car armor before. Or is that the car getting damaged at the end of every mission? Hey, you know, I'm gonna drive away. We're close to Canada. I don't want to spend two days there. Everybody's hurt, except Plumbus. The group is trying to find supplies and stumbles on a fortified martial arts dojo. Inside is a sumo wrestler. He explains that he's surviving, but he wants to travel. Everyone left his town quite a while ago. Even before then, there wasn't a huge demand for sumo wrestler training on the east coast of the United States. I heard sumo is pretty big in Canada. Bigger than hockey. I, I'm going to leave him. I mean, as much as I want. A sumo wrestler in the party? We already have four people. Exhausted after an extra long drive, the group scouts out a camping spot and falls asleep immediately after the group eats a decent meal. Cool! Ninja unsheathes her blade slightly, then clicks it back in softly. The group finds a street in a town that has traps all over it. Hits with blankets put over the top, snares everywhere, spikes on barrels, a door with an obvious guillotine over it, and these are just the visible ones. Send the scout to explore for loot? No, no, we're almost to Canada. Almost to Canada. An enormous army of undead shambles around the carnage that surrounds the border to Canada. Many have tried to get through. Most only succeed in having their bodies added to the horde. Maybe your team will be different. This is your last chance to trade. Good luck, you have 38 food left, all right. Shotgun? Do I have shotgun yet? Uh... Oh. Yeah, sure, I mean, we're in Canada, right? So... They use that food to buy stuff, probably. Hey, come back. Alright, stockpile of crates. Uh, no. Hey, buddy. Oh. It's an old butch fit man in matching gray sweatpants and sweatshirt. He screams something about building massive bulk with an intense strength routine. He flails towards some heavy objects lying around. You have 46 food left. Uh. Yeah, if Plumbus uses charm, it might only work for Plumbus. Um. You have 15 food for group training? The entire group gets strength training. Everyone's strength increases. Nice. Be kind to animals, okay. This guy looks ominous. I'm a special agent on a special mission. It's a zombie war zone out there, I promise. I won't betray you. Uh. Can't spare the food. I might want that pistol, maybe. You doing this? Thanks. There's one merchant hiding behind the bushes over there. Anne almost made it to Canada. She got as far as the city of the crushed hopes, where the rest of her group was eaten. She offers to join you for ten food. She has a real good feeling about this attempt. She's strong, but I still feel bad about leave swapping out people at the last minute. It seems kind of mean. I don't know. It's a strange woman figure. Oh, a strange and menacing figure. A strange woman figure. <laughs> he or she is wearing a mask and a robe. I sell axes. Just ask. Just axes. Uh, now nah, let's go. <laughs> Valkyrie robs the merchant. God damn it, Valkyrie. Uh, make them all? The 
could use some better hand-to-hand -hand weapons, couldn't I? I mean, and this has got that great big axe now, but Valkyrie's got the pitchfork and I've got this uh, pickaxe. Mega Mall? Ooh. All right, definitely. And I have a lot of pistol ammo, but I could use a better pistol, perhaps. Dead nine pistol. I'm guessing that's better than my current one. It's just a snub nose. Okay. How much food do we have? Five. All right. Well, let's go to the final showdown then. Valkyrie's not getting the Mega Mall because, you know, she kills people. <laughs> Innocent people. Don't forget to check every single toilet for toilet loot. The closed ones, yeah, of course. Alright, giant armies of undead perpetually lurch around the Canadian border, unable to cross. The group gets caught up in a lesser swarm before they can find a safe camp. There's no escape. Ooh, it's nightfall. Oh dear. Uh. What happened to your cool weapons? There's Mjolnir. What the hell's going on? Oh dear god, where's my Mega Mall? Did I run out of room in my inventory? Oh dear god. I didn't get the better pistol or the Mega Mall. Unless I'm gonna need that fire axe. I'm gonna need to throw you away. Just keeping that in case I ran into dogs, which seems silly. Not just in hindsight, it seems silly at the time, too. Six golf clubs. My god. Throwing stuff away now just because I'm upset. Even though there's like no use for it. Oh man. It's brutal. <sighs> Alright. Well, it's got us this far. Might as well stack those. I guess you don't have anything? Ninja, I guess. All right. That's what we got. Gotta do it. To the cabin.
All right, ninjas got chainsaw. That's cool. Why do you turn around? Why did I lose my fire axe? Yeah, it's over. How'd Valkyrie wind up with the fire axe? Did she steal it? Seems weird. I mean, it seems like something she'd do, but I didn't know this thing that could happen. Maybe when I was trying to search something. There's a piece of wood on the ground instead that I got. Well. I'd use my handgun now, though. Okay. Just give me that back. <laughs> Ah, oh, jeez. Tough for unforeseen reasons. Hammer, nail board, no. Thanks anyway. We didn't bring the car, did we? No. Yes, let's go. Oh, we're there. We're pretty much there. This canned food is a lot better when you're able to heat it. True. Yay, the group is inspired. Uh, Valkyrie plus two strength? Sure. Yay! Huge surge in strength. Three Zombo points. Nice. Wait, why is my entire heart flashing? The group prepares for the brutal day ahead of them. Canada is close, but the zombies forecast is bad. The group eats a decent meal. Mmm, yum yum. Plumbus can't wait. Plumbus's dexterity increases. Oh. Anissa is raring to go. Anissa's dexterity increases. So does Valkyrie's. Oh. I didn't even know that was a thing. The ninja strikes a dramatic cross-armed pose. Her headband flutters in the wind. Looks like my work is done. She slams a smoke bomb into the ground and disappears, leaving behind a small satchel. The satchel is full of smoke bombs. Oh. What? Nearly at the border to Canada, the group is surrounded by seemingly endless undead. To survive, they must face one last siege. This is the final siege, but not the last battle. Wow, four hours. Four hours of overwhelming odds. Damn. Well, somebody gotta get the chainsaw. And you got Mjolnir. Uh, and I got the fire axe. Oh, it takes gas. Interesting. Yeah, Ninja just totally disappeared in a puff of smoke. Like, literally. In a puff of smoke. I know, it's pretty lame. The 
hug the chainsaw and the fire axe? Yeah, I guess I am. Valkyrie, you can have the... Shurikens and the smoke bombs. And this so you can have the pitchfork. No one else has the pipe bomb because it's kind of dangerous. Oh, it's so good though. There you go, Nessa. You can have that pipe bomb too. Use it wisely. Wait, use that. Mjolnir again? It's so weird. Why do you keep doing that? Like, I don't even know what to do about this. Wow. Chainsaw's great. We don't run out of gas. Rubber mallet. Chainsaw. Yeah! Alright. I can barely believe it was that good for a bit, but it does appear to be that good. Keep falling back. Really, you have the rubber mallet now, Valkyrie? How did you give up Mjolnir for this? I got a little bit of chainsaw left. One more hour of this siege. There's so many of them! Almost out. Well, if I line him up, I might be able to get a good run with the chainsaw again. Alright, but we should try to escape instead, so we have a little bit of gas.
281 zombies. Wow. Whew. Well, been streaming for an hour. I'm going to take a three minute break, but we'll be back with some more Death Road to Canada with me, Jeffrey No Pants. Don't want to jinx it, but I think we're in the final stretch. We'll be right back. Well, hello there. Don't be afraid. Most of the zombiness should be over now. In Death Road to Canada. With me, Jeffrey No Pants. Thanks for joining me. Anissa rolls up her sleeves and starts tending to their wounds. Anissa tries to help, but lacks enough medical supplies. Yeah, I know. The border to Canada is just north of here. The group must cross the bridge and then reach the fort that serves as a checkpoint right outside of Canada. This is the final challenge. Good luck! Oh dear. Sardine packed and mega cheesed. Oh my god. Well. I am glad that I didn't, uh... Use up all the chainsaw. And Valkyrie just frickin' put Mjolnir down in favor of a hockey stick and a rubber mallet. Oh 
my goodness. What's going on with you, Valkyrie? Why are you so lame suddenly? This plump is almost dead. Is that what's happening? I don't know. Crash the car. I hope you know what you're doing, Valkyrie, with using that hockey stick instead of Mjolnir. Oh no, my fitness. We gotta hurry. Valkyrie, get out of there! Oh no, Valkyrie barfed. Welcome to Almost Canada. Oh, sorry. Welcome to Almost Canada, eh? Oh, so, like, watch out, eh? There's a whole buttload of zombies giving her towards the gates here. Hang tight and we'll give you a hand until the big guy gets here. guy a moose Azer beam <laughs> My favorite anime is Dragon Ball Z. You've got a can-do attitude, eh? Congrats on making it to Canada. The Prime Minister himself makes the group honorary citizens of Canada. He welcomes them to the last remaining nation on Earth. Zombo points maximum increase to 15. Two Zombo points earned. Onward to Canada. <laughs> wow, 2,528 zombies killed. I met a bunch of weirdos. Oh, sorry, she looks old. I met a bunch of weirdos. Not everyone with white hair sounds like that. I just <laughs> Helps me choose the voice. Lots of interesting people on the death route. But what became of them in Canada? I already hate Canada. Canada smells bad. And this is a room of the northern frontiers, having more adventures but with less zombies. Plumbus, I learned a lot about myself and zombies. Plumbus didn't have any strong skills and he had a peaceful but uneventful life in Canada. Wow. Alright. So what are we going to unlock now? Are we going to increase friend of dog? Sure. <laughs> Maximum friend of dog reached. A 
Gungeoneer? Sure. I think we're good for now. Okay. So should we start a... another game with Plumbus as the ultra fit or should we do a different custom character? Because we maxed out Friend of Dog as well. Gungeoneer and Fighter are also up. So do I want to do Friend of Dog? Yeah, sure, you know, we'll make this the Jeffrey No Pants character, why not? Does that fit? Oh my god, it does. Wow. The girl gamer cute said that uh, Ninja was quiet quitting. What does Calm Under Fire do? Oh. That's pretty cool. Oh, Valkyrie because she kept ditching the weapons? Yeah, yeah, she kept on choosing bad weapons until she died. Okay, Valkyrie was quiet quitting. Gotcha. Boring personality. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go with this. Since I get to be the voice anyway. I'm a practical gungeoneer. Hard to tell. Okay, I'll make myself bald, but I'll give myself a hat. Do I have my hat? That one was kind of like it. Kind of like an officer's version, though. Yeah, that's the closest one, eh? Where are you? There you are. I can't give myself extra? That's weird.
I do like the shirt, the two shirt combo thing. I do actually wear things like that sometimes. Let's see. Sure. Wow. There's no bottom zero. Okay, well, most of my pants are black. Sure, I'll go with that. Oh, now I can do extra. Okay. Okay, okay. Got a weird hovery bit on that one. I guess the closest one is that thing. Sure. New game. Leader shall be Jeffrey No Pants. Buddy can be Plumbus. There we go. <laughs> Headphones. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, game mode. Long winding road. Ah, it takes 25 driving days to get to Canada rather than the usual 15. Ooh. We still haven't done normal. We've only done rare characters. I'm gonna go with normal. All right. Wow. Huh. Okay. Let's get to it. Ah, yes. I hear that Canada... ...doesn't have zombies. Some sort of... ...mecha mountie. Sounds legit. How about we hit up that rest stop, Columbus? Yeah. A mild, sluggish zombie forecast, and it's near noon. Columbus has a broom. Oh dear. Well, we'll see what we can do. Let's go, Plumby. Ooh, bullets in here. And a pistol. I am a little nervous that I used up like all my ammo at the end of the last time. <laughs> Dripping sweat everywhere. 
Let's catch our breath over here, buddy. Buddy. A shiv. Oh, you got, you got the shiv. Columbus. Alright, I'm gonna go get the gas from this toilet. It's a better idea than it sounds, trust me. Go back to smashing for now. Alright. Cool. I mean, we'll be ready for, like, uh... The horde, at least. Mmm, nothing in here, though. music to get eaten by zombies too. Nice. Give her. All right. Cool. The group couldn't find any safe shelters, but was able to cobble together a campsite. The weather is terrible all night. Almost didn't mind, but Jeffrey's morale decreased. Aww, the weather is bad. I need to use the bathroom. You should have went when we stopped last night. Jeffrey No Pants' morale decreases again. Hmm. The group reaches a city as it starts to rain. The drizzle seems to rile up the local zombies. Now, the convenience mart sounds like the way to go, but maybe this game is trying to be counterintuitive? I'm gonna go to the bookstore. Because it also kind of matters what uh, neighborhood you're in, right? Alright, not the best, but that's what we got. hits to kill a zombie. Does it matter where I hit the zombie? No. Hit that one in the head. <laughs> Good work, Plumbus. Just junk. Ooh, a medical. Now you're open already. Well, there is no door over there, so we probably should kill these zombies. There we go. Ah, uh, no, there's nothing in here. Let's get out of here, Columbus. bed. Come on, get that food. Stumble all over everything. Good stuff. That was my plan all along. It's okay. Got a whole hallway here and they're coming in one at a time. Now, to the Bookatorium. It's literally what I would call a bookstore in real life. <laughs> oh. Hmm. 
Jeffrey Nopans finds a book in good condition among the ruined magazines and books. The book is titled, Morons Guide to Surgery. Stuff's dead to his pack. All right, need him. Oops. Okay, I'm trying to pick something up. Accidentally quick drew my shotgun blast the zombie. A little bit of a waste. Just a little bit. Weapons Plumbus? Did your shift break? I feel like Plumbus' shift broke. Ooh, I'm tired. Alright. I have nothing to give to Plumbus. I gotta find something fast. Zombo point? Cool, but... Will not help uh, Plumbus get a weapon right now. Zombie. Hi there, zombie. Later, zombie remains. Oh. Nope. Nope. Nothing up there. All right, let's get her, Plumbus. It's too bad we don't have any weapons for you. Can't imagine that's going to go well for very long. I guess he's got a gun. The group now has the book, Moron's Guide to Surgery. Everyone gets a chance to read it and learn some new things. Nice. Medical's increased. I hope it doesn't rain. It seems to irritate the zombies. The group finds a professional car garage. The sign says, Car Pros. They find some gas and lots of scrap metal. Just need to tinker. Ah, uh, let's drive away. Yeah. Don't really have the food for that. The group goes against their judgment and camps in the city apartment because there's no zombies around. When they wake up, the building is on fire! Plan out the escape. Who plans the escape? Jeffrey No Pants does. Jeffrey No Pants tries to keep calm and observant. He panics, and this wastes precious time. Morale decreases. Plans a fast way out. They leave unhurt. Okay. Everyone's morale is hurt. My composure's not great. Oh well. At least we didn't lose a bunch of uh, supplies like last time. Oh, I got pretty good wits though. That's nice. The group finds a repair shop. There's a tiny bit of gas plus a lot of broken garbage. There could be something good here if you know how to fix it. Well, I am a gungeoneer. I'm gonna do it. Jeffrey Nopan spends a day trying to pick something in the junk pile. He turns a useless rusted machete into a useful, or at least usable, rusty machete. It's a clear improvement. Alright, we really need another weapon. I wonder how bad they have it on the west coast. Outside of Canada, most of society- oh yeah, right. Sure. Let's go to the trader camp. Hmm. 
Columbus uses charm, maybe? Columbus gets free training with firearms. It already feels like a steadier shark. Cool. I'm pretty good with guns, so it doesn't matter too much. What the what? The group discovers an unsettling and filthy van that has a sign that says Easy Medical College hanging crookedly on the back door. Inside is an unsettling and filthy dude at overhaul in overalls. Well, who wants to learn about surgery? Yeah, 16 food. Uh, let's go for now. How about you? Oh, it's the hammer lady. Oh man. Still haven't got a chance to see that Mega Mall. Shotgun for one food? Oh my god. Well, if I'd bought the Mega Mall, I would have had to. Columbus' medical is bad. My medical is okay. Kind of neutral. I've got four days of food if I don't spend any, so... Nothing in here really super... necessary. <laughs> Zero zombies destroyed. This canned food is a lot better when you're able to heat it up. Good observation, Plumbus. The group is about to break into a small fortified grocery store, but then finds... the Kako! Already living inside. She seems like a calm, clever person. Hey, Takako, do you want to join us? Sure, I'll join. I was running out of food anyway. Takako is now part of the team. Takako brings along some food supplies. Bonus! Enough for three days. Great composure, great wits. Poor attitude, poor loyalty. Oh. Well, hope she's got a weapon. The group gets confused when driving through a forest. They stop at a cabin. They figure out where they are, but get trapped by a random horde. Alright, happy music. Might get killed by zombies. Ban. It will have to do, won't it? Fortunately, there's three of us, and it's only a moderate horde. My rusty machete immediately broke. This stick I picked up is lasting longer. Oh god. And there it goes too. Okay. Nail board. There's no nail board over there. Good for a bit. Whew. Ooh, a Molotov. Save that for bigger hoard. Siege is over! Huzzah! Wow, you can hit like several zombies with this nail board. I'm too bad that it breaks and stuff. Ah. More Molotovs? Cool, I don't think I had to drop the nail board, did I? No, I didn't. I can stack them. Alright, that had junk in it. Medical? Not bad. Smack you. Someone else grabbed that other nail board? Good, 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 good. Uh, anything out here? No. It's my disappointing job at fixing up a machete. <laughs> Let's hit the road!
32 zombies. And the car is a bit smoky. I wonder if I could get strong enough to just throw the car at zombies. The group feels inspired. Uh, medical? Medical's pretty damn important. Kako's medical revealed. Oh, everybody's medical went up. Interesting. Got a zombo point. Yeah, my medical's pretty damn good now. Cool. Exhausted after an extra long drive, the group scouts out a camping spot and falls asleep immediately after uh, eating a decent meal. Maybe has that for breakfast, I don't know. It wasn't clear. I can't wait to get out of this car and stretch my legs. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Ooh, I really want to go to the shopping mall, even though there's a bunch of zombies. I'm gonna go for it. Might go really poorly. The group sees a mall. These places are death traps, but there's at least a couple of stores inside that haven't been ransacked. Nightfall? Oh god. Okay. I I guess take the Molotovs too. I mean, the Molotovs are really for crowd control, right? So... Yeah. And honestly, this thing is going to break. Um, so I'm going to take that. Yeah. Molotov is more valuable than a few shotgun shells if I have to. And Takako's the only one with a flashlight. One carry two? it gets freaky dark and I get scared. No, no, hang on, hang on. All right, Plumbus can carry one. There we go. Good stuff. Ooh, I hope I don't regret this. Yeah. Well, as long as I can hit a few of you at once with this thing. Gotta make sure I hit a few. Go fight. Watch out, Takako. I'm gonna test my surgery skills. Too tired to swing. Rusty machete. Might last longer this one? I really like how I can hit several with this though. Oh, it makes me so freaking tired though. Okay, I've got another rusty, another nail board. Machete just seems too darn practical as a zombie killing device. Fishing pole. Anybody else want this? I guess everybody's full up on stuff. Wait a minute. That's just a better machete. <laughs> I 
drop that? All right, fine. Oh wait, now I'm now I'm Plumbus. That's not right. There we go. Oh yeah, that's better. Oh, and another handgun? My god. Alright, I guess we're switching out for the nail board. Because that's just way too cool. I mean. We could all have guns. the thing though like if we have more than one weapon each we go through the ammo a lot faster so ideally we'd have like some kind of rifle shotgun pistol like one of each right Ball's a weird shape. Oh, toilet bullet. I think that's the first time I've seen it not be gasoline. Looks more like it. More bathrooms. No toilet treasure though. Let's get out of here. Rifle bullets. Cool. Ooh, a whole bunch of shotgun shells. Very nice. Why didn't you get one of those many good weapons we found? Alright, alright, come on. Let's go back and get you a weapon. Frying pan? You want to get the frying pan? Alright, good work. So maybe we should search around in here first? Was there another door, maybe? No, okay. Always oh, got a baseball bat now, too. Okay, good stuff. Now, did I get the middle of this door? No, there's supposed to have gotten there. Okay. Ugh. Can't break that. That's fine. Just checking. Air horn? Why the... Attract zombies, I guess? Alright, the kaku's got a hockey stick. Game on. Get out. Hmm. 
I can always switch characters to choose a weapon on the ground for them. Oh, that's a good point. Against multiple zombies. Uh, so there's this. I'm getting tired though. Alright, that's the end of the horde over there. You want to get that, uh, Plumbus? Well, that immediately broke. All right, you got a bone. Something. Good man. Glad I didn't have to take control of your character. Uh oh. Your board with Nail was weak. Man, it's tough to get in there. Grab that racket. Something. More weapons, more weapons. Choke point. All right. <laughs> now can I look down here? Oh my god, so many zombies. All right, let's get out, guys. Okay, maybe we can't. Boy. We're just gonna be killing zombies all night in here. I'm just occasionally picking up femurs. You want to grab that femur? Oh, it happened again. Oh my god. Are we just going to be stuck in here all night fighting zombies? Throw more for you. Sure, chose the quiet suburb. Okay. Well, we'll be stuck here for a little bit. Could be worse, I suppose. Anybody want to grab that? All right. Okay, there's kind of some weapons in here. Now let's go kill some more zombies as we wait for dawn to come. Since we can't really make it to the exit safely.
what point do you stop hoarding in the door? That's what I want to know. Already looks a little bit quieter. Now they're just crowding in like it's Furbies at Christmas. The zombie kill count is going to be mad on this one. Well, you want to go get another tennis racket? Before we go, new tennis racket. Alright. I think we made it. <laughs> I don't think anybody got hurt. Yes, let's go. So many zombies. Two hundred and seventy eight zombies. Wow. The group finds a gun range. It's empty and mostly picked clean of supplies. However, they find some shooting targets and a working pistol. Carefully train one person. I'm already really good, so let's do Plumbus. Alright, Plumbus' shooting increases. The targets were even zombie-themed. Nice. Bandits catch the group by surprise in a really terrible spot for them to fight in. They demand that all the food and half of the supplies are handed over. Uh... Plumbus offers a compromise. Plumbus offers a compromise to the bandits. The group will leave some... Thing the bandits want on the road, then drive away. No harm will come to either side. The supplies will be... Half your medical supplies, I guess? Since the, those other things are... I mean, the food's more essential and the ammo is to stop needing medical supplies. That's my reasoning. The group camps out in a pro shop near a golf course, Jeffrey No Pants looks out the window and sees a large group of zombies approaching from the driving range. Prepare for siege! The zombies start hitting the door of the pro shop. There's not much time to prepare before the door breaks. Try to survive. Now we're inside, so I don't think we need the flashlights, right? Can I hit multiple targets with the golf club? Yeah, I think shotgun will be better than Molotov in this situation anyway, still. Can I hit multiple zombies? No, I don't think so. You have no other weapons, Takako. God damn it. Alright. Yay, siege is over. You wanna grab that? 
You know, since we're being sieged now. Hurry! Wow, there's nothing in here. Let's go. The worst of the zombie siege is over. The group clears out any remaining zombies outside and goes back in to splat any stragglers so they can set up camp. Everyone's morale goes up. Nice. Hmm. Now, I like the idea of finding another person <clears throat> in that apartment with the help banner, but they might be dead and overrun with zombies too. And we really need food. I think we'll get another chance to save somebody. I'm gonna have to go with the uh, grocery store. Because we gotta feed the people we have first. Yeah, that's okay. Just stack that. There you go. I don't think the golf club breaks. Does it? I don't think it is. I could be wrong. I guess we might find out. That boogie. I love the way they drew these uh, little zombies with so much character, even though they're pixelated. The way they like wake up and become more scary as you approach. They're not really reaching out for you until you get close. Ooh, there is some good food in here. Oh yeah. Good stuff. Was that it? Was there another door? I don't think there was a door. Some cutlery, which for some reason you can use as a weapon. Probably because it's funny. It's not quite three, we got some time. Got time. Not infinite time. Eh? Eh? Oh, it's open. Never mind. <laughs> Good work, Kako. Surprise, Zombo! <laughs> Thanks, team.
<laughs> Just get that zombie. Mm, yeah, we're good. Come on, guys. No sense in staying in there with all the zombies. Out here, nothing in here. It's getting close to nightfall. Hold on, nothing in this place. Medical? Cool. Oh. Gas in the toilet. I should have known. Oh, okay. This street was built different. Interesting. Alright. A little bit of time to spare. Let's get out of here. Take this clunker of a car away. Nice. Doubled our food. That's what I like to see. Ooh, I don't like to see the car all smoky like that, though. Oh, I gotta attempt to fix this car. But that'll be after a three-minute break. I'm gonna get some more water, do a little bit of stretching. Now we'll be back with some more Death Road to Canada with me, Jeffrey No Pants. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you soon.
Hello! And welcome back to Death Road to Canada. The zombie road trip game. Not, uh, you know, zombies on a road trip, but a road trip that you have to travel through lots and lots of zombies. It's to clarify, if you, you know, showed up during the break and haven't seen this game before, I'm gonna try and fix this, because I have some mechanic skill. I don't know if it'll work. Jeffrey Nopans pops the hood of the car. He completely fails to repair the car after wasting a day on it. Oh, Sad. Alright, everybody run. <laughs> run to Canada. Without a car, the group is easy prey for bandits. A group ambushes you and demands your supplies. All food and gas plus half of your ammo and medical supplies? Ah, uh, Can we fight them? I mean... We have guns. The group knows that every single one of their supplies are essential for their chances of reaching Canada, so they fight! Everybody gets hurt. We're live, though. And we have all our stuff. While walking alongside a large stream, Plumbus notices some fish in the water. Plumbus tries their luck, goes into the water, and tries to catch some fish by hand. By some miracle, Plumbus is able to catch a decent-sized catfish. Everyone's morale goes up and we got some food. All right. While wandering through a small town, Jeffrey Nopans discovers a newer hybrid car in front of a store. The battery is dead, but the store turns out to be a car parts store. Finding a working battery was easy. Hybrid cars have amazing gas mileage, but they are fairly fragile. They're also very difficult to repair, so enjoy it while you can. Well, I failed to repair that, you know, one that was a lot simpler, but there's a Twinkie truck on the road. Wow, it's upside down and the door to the back is locked tight. The group salivates about the bounty of processed corn syrup that must be inside. Jeffrey Nopant smashes it with something heavy. Shoots the lock. I'll shoot the lock, I have good gun skill. I should know how to shoot a lock, right? Jeffrey Nopant takes aim at the lock on the back of the truck. The shot misses and goes through the back. Sparks from the bullet make the extremely flammable goo inside. The truck is consumed by a huge explosion. Jeffrey Nopans is hurt. Damn it. Well, at least I got healed. Sorry, everybody. I needed all the healing supplies for my stupid opening the truck with a gun plan. The group sets up camp at the s safest place they could find around, the abandoned mini golf park. The group eats a decent meal. In the morning, they find a golf ball and putter while searching the area. The group decides to play a quick game. Ah. Oh. Takako gets better at fitness and everybody gets better morale. Great. That totally makes up for the Twinkie truck incident. What Twinkie truck? What Twinkie truck at all, I say. The group finds a picnic site with tables laid out. There's a lot of food lying around, a portion of which is still good. Cool. This was a company retreat, with coal set up for people to walk on to build morale and trust with each other or some such nonsense. <laughs> they could still be lit up. Who should walk on the burning coals? Um... Me because of the Twinkie truck? It's a bad idea. Jeffrey No Pants nearly instantly trips and hits the burning coal space first. Jeffrey No Pants is hurt! This experience toughens up his skin and also humiliates him. Jeffrey No Pants' vitality is increased from neutral to slightly good. And Jeffrey No Pants' morale decreases from very good to just a little good. Everyone has a good laugh. Alright. 
That was worth it. Now we need to find some medical supplies. We're all a third of the way hurt. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Stash in the woods? Sounds like it would have medical supplies. The Kako is driving through the forest at night. She takes a wrong turn and hits the end of the road. Nearby to the north, she can barely see the shape of a cabin. Ooh. I do not like the after dark thing. We gotta go. Gotta do it. Let's just drive right onto the grass here. Alright. Very few zombies so far. That's the cabin, isn't it? That's the cabin. Yeah, nice. Oh yeah, this place is great. Oh, I'm so glad I came here. And a chainsaw? Wow, well we're saving that till the very end of the game. I just got hurt, damn it. Hashtag worth it. Any doors? There's a door! Oh my god. You know, could you stop trying to use the zombie- the chainsaw? You better not have used all of our fuel. Why do you have that equipped? Okay, just here. Swap that out. That's, why do you have a rusty machete? Healing spray? Maybe I should take it and use it on myself. There we go. I've never used one before. Zero? Why do I... Why do you want to have that? Weird. I am slightly confused. That's okay. I'll just take my shotgun back now. Thank you very much. Alright. Everybody's got weapons. No one's got a weapon that they obviously cannot use. Ooh. Got the caco. to God. <laughs> oh, the healing spray didn't help me anymore. Maybe it only brings me back up there. Interesting. Oh, hang on. My backup battery is unexpectedly dead. Be back in just a minute. Just a moment. In fact, I'm not even going to say just be right back on the screen yet. I'm just going to go get a thing and be right back.
Weird, all of my good batteries are dead. those batteries were good. Alright. This one's good. <laughs> and I've got four to put into a charger. Turns out. Well, I'm glad there's some light around me. I mean, there's that... I guess when the NPCs have the flashlight, it just sort of lights up the area? You guys wanna get in? Alright, let's go. Car got a little bit attacked, but we're still good. Oh, you have to walk into the spray to heal? Oh, interesting. Hmm. Are we there yet? Yay, I'm healed. Sorry again, everybody. All for Jeffrey. The group can't find the car keys. After a while, they spot the keys laying inside a gator's open mouth. After most humans disappeared, alligators started spreading across the entire east coast. It's rumored the gators may eat zombies and car keys. Jeffrey No Pants shoots the gator. Jeffrey No Pants shoots the gator. Jeffrey No Pants whiffs the shot. The gator swallows the keys and waddles away. Ah, oh, without a good mechanic, there's no other way for the group to start the car. Car abandoned. Aw, oh, man. I whiffed it. The weather suddenly turns bad. The group is caught in the open and must keep moving. They're forced to stumble around in miserable conditions. Everyone's morale goes down. Still not the worst. Just a little bad. Without a car, the group is sitting dark for bandits. Ah, the group is ambushed by awkward bandits that apologize for the robbery. They're <laughs> likely new at this. Plumbus reasons with them. Guys, come on. Columbus convinces the bandits to not go through with the attack. They didn't want to anyway. Feeling pity, Columbus gives them some food. And Columbus gets better morale. Damn it, Columbus, why'd you give him food? Actually, food's not bad. The group finds a rest stop after hours of walking along the road. Right in front of it is a car that looks like it could be driven. The keys must be somewhere near. Alright, better check it out. Okay, I gotta leave that chainsaw behind. That's for, like, the worst horde situations possible. Should I take the other flashlight? It's almost dark. Alright, we'll do it. Still have the shotgun for emergencies. Ooh, another hybrid. Nice. Hopefully this means we have lots of gas left for the chainsaw for the final assault on Canada. Oh, it's over here. I'll just face that way and walk backwards and swipe at nothing. <laughs> Either of you guys have keys? 
No? Nobody? Alright. Ooh, so many zombies. Ooh, getting tired. Thirty PM and we're really tired. Might be shooting time. That thins out a bit. There we go. Act smashing. Did you pick up a screwdriver? Uh, this is a set of keys, including some car keys. Yes, this is probably it. heard of prison toilet wine this is not prison toilet gasoline get in the car it's almost late noish and we got six food 116 more gas Ooh. no 70 more gas more bullets, more shotgun shells. Love it. Takako, can any human truly be too swole? Bombus, what are you even talking about? The campground that the group sets up smells terrible. The source of the smell is a complete mystery. Ah, let's just get out of here. Ah. The group gets out of the smell zone. They get no sleep, yet feel like leaving was the right choice. The group eats a decent meal. Everybody's tired. With civilization gone, I mostly just miss Twitter. I would never say that. The group finds a used car lot that seems untouched by time, or at least not touched by looters. They find a supply of gasoline and a few working cars. Uh, yeah, let's keep the car. If we could get solar panels and a couple of batteries, it could come in handy. Let's keep our eyes out then. I can see something like that being useful. The group continues making progress along the death road. As long as one person remains alive, the dream of Canada lives on. To the trader camp! We have some food, right? Yeah, it's not too bad, actually. What you doing, buddy? What you doing? Nice eye patch. Uh, any spare gas? Uh... No, no, I'm saving all my gas for the final showdown. In fact, I don't even know what would be worth it to trade here, except, I mean, medical supplies and just free stuff lying around like that thing I just found now with the bullets. Ah, uh, no, that's not really, not really that important. Ah, uh, yeah. Mind if I break this open? Never mind. Apparently I mind.
So, what are you doing? Butchie man selling homemade bombs. Ooh. I would like some bombs. Well, I kind of want to get medical supplies, so let's see what we have left after getting some of them. Toilet gasoline, clearly. Hey, buddy. Group finds a man claiming to be a traveling medicine salesman. He offers one medical item for each item of food. Oh. Yeah, sure. That's pretty good. We're all hurt though, right? We're all hurt. Wait, my, why is my thing full and flashing? Well... Hmm... Ten food. Can I steal stuff off your rack? Probably not. Okay, so we only have five days of food left, so... Yeah, I won't trade any of those for bombs. But we got the chainsaw, and the chainsaw is kind of like... the best thing for that end... Uh... End level? That end encounter with the final horde? Yay! Plumbus is fully healed. Plumbus and Jeffrey No Pants fully healed. Uh, wait a minute. Why wasn't Takako healed? We got like 10 medical supplies. The group gets overwhelmed by a horde and flees for a nearby factory. There must be another way out inside. Or is there? Let's dive in. Near sunset. Don't like it. Gonna have to do it. Yeah, you know what? You can have... Whoops. You can have the flashlight. I'll take these Molotovs just in case. I don't think it'll come to that. Why do you have that? At least take this. Alright. Everybody's sleeping. All right, it's shooting time. All right, that's enough shooting. No need for the Molotovs yet, which is good. Good, good. Why do I keep walking backwards in the zombies and flailing at nothing? I guess it hasn't happened that many times, but it's happened a couple times. That's a nice looking pipe. Columbus, do you want to grab that pipe? Okay, doesn't want it. That's fine. You're your own person, I mean, except when I'm controlling you, but otherwise you're your own person. Anybody want this wrench? The wrench is good? Okay. M4. Mm, maybe we should finish searching in here. So many zombies, though. 
Never mind. Let's move on. Turn around, buddy. Turn around. There we go. Ooh. Gasoline's always welcome. You want that, Kako? Wrench? No? Not your style? Okay. More gasoline. That's my style. Getting tired. Let's catch our breath a little bit here. Ah, there's no rest. There's no time to rest. We are the walking tired. Okay. No, no, guys. Come on. All right. You found the ladder out! Yes, let's go. We're tired. And there's a ton of zombies. Yay! The healing is completed! And we still have some medical supplies. The group feels inspired. Well... Oh, that fitness is huge! But the mechanical if the car breaks down. It's already tough, though. I feel like mechanical or fitness is the way to go, but... Which one? I guess fitness. Wait a minute. Why is the fitness all so bad? Is that from being tired? Oh my god. That's terrible. The group sets up camp late. On the nearby highway is a bunch of abandoned cars. They're broken, but many should have a little bit of gas. Would you like to send someone to siphon out the gas? I'll do it. Well, maybe I should wait until morning. Zombies. Next morning, the group goes to siphon the cars, but notices a large horde of zombies approaching and the gas has to be abandoned. Aww. That's okay, we have a ton of gas. The group eats a decent meal. It just would have been even better, you know? We're near the end. It's surprising how long a burger or hot dog takes to go bad. <laughs> While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Ooh. Prepper cabin. That's where it's at. Takago knew some people that became crazy preppers long before the zombies happened. <coughs> Their cabin is located nearby, and it's still fairly early in the day. Nice. A visit to the cabin. Oh, we won't need those. He said, jinxing it, perhaps. <laughs> Alright. Throwing all the crummy stuff away. It doesn't crowd out awesome stuff I buy near the end of the game. Oh my god. We still we still won. But that was painful to buy like the best stuff I could find and have it not show up in my inventory because it was already full. No warning, just wasn't there. So I gotta watch out for that. <laughs> what is this, God of War? Did you just pick up a whole freaking log? Is this Warcraft? 
Loptar Rogar. Okay, good supplies. Good, good. It's making me feel good about not taking the medical bonus. Ooh, toilet bullet. Yeah, sure. More Molotovs. You taking the snub nose? That's fine. I mean... I can just not give it to you before a mission and just, you know, let Plumbus run down all the ammunition. Oh my god. I hate your guys' weapon choices sometimes. Did we clean out this room entirely? Was no other door? Is just the bathroom? Right? No other door? Okay. Not one of those weird houses where you walk through the bathroom to get to a bedroom? No. No, no. It's everything. Good. That was a good haul. <laughs> just one more weapon trade back to what he had before. <laughs> good call. Alright. Do not pick up the branch. Do not. How did zombies come out of the house? Killed all the zombies. They must have snuck in there when I was around the other side. Sneaky zombies. All shambly and stuff. Nice. Alright. Doing good. And the car is just a little bit smoky. Try to conserve your ammo. Attack only when you have to. The group checks out what appears to be a trader settlement. They are instead ambushed by bandits who have taken it over. One of them looks injured. Uh, Jeffrey Nopants offers to heal the injury. I can do this. Jeffrey Nopants offers to heal the injury. Uh, with his medical know-how, he fixes things right up. The bandits let the group go. Aww, nice! Yay, morale! I need to save up a lot of ammo, if I'm going to make it. After a long drive, the group finds a safe place to camp. Right on. Things are going good now, but we've got to be prepared for anything. The group sees a city in the distance with zombies crowding the streets. Getting back alive may be difficult. Pharmacy's probably going to have more food and medicine. Save those for later. Don't know what you guys are doing with weapons, but whatever. You do you. You do you. Oh wait, did you still have a gun? Takako? You did. That's okay. You won't use it until I say so. Thankfully, everyone's really good at following orders in this. Even the jerks. Alright, we better search some stuff as we sort of work our way through these zombies. <laughs> From over there, it looked like the zombie was sparkling. It's not a champagne zombie unless it's from the Champagne region of France. Otherwise, you have to call it a sparkling white zombie. Or a champagne flavored zombie. That's okay too. bored with nails. It is pretty cool how you can hit multiple zombies at once with that. Not super cool how it can break at any time. Ooh, more stuff. Nice. Ugh. 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 Get it. 
Get it. Is there something on there? No? Huh. Alright. Nothing useful, I guess. Alright, everybody, let's boogie. Cool. Box of bullets. Zombie toilet. Room of just zombies for no reason. I mean, I'm sure they all have their own tragic story, but... No reason for me to hang out there, is what I'm trying to say. Oh. Alright, that pharmacy's gotta be over here somewhere. Did I say pharmacy? Zombies look so good in this. I mentioned that before, but... Like, the sheer variety and just the character they have in them. Team. Nothing. All right. There it is. Big city. Oh, wow. We're so much better when we're not tired. Alright, let's go. Hmm. Although we are a bit tired again. We would be a lot better if we weren't tired. <laughs> And the zombie's pushing a shopping cart, and I'm pushing the shopping cart with the zombie. <laughs> That's one medical. Let's evade them, because they're not like a horde. Is that it? I don't think there's anything else in here. Unless it's totally obscured by zombie guts. Did I get scratched? Did I not notice a zombie next to me? It's flashy. Car's fine. It's doing good. It's great, in fact. It's supposed to be like that. Although we got two medical supplies, I might need them both. Oh, is it because I got a little bit extra before? So now I got a little bit of blue there? group finds an abandoned safe house. There's a little bit of ammo inside. On further searching, some unfinished pipe bombs are in the building. Someone must have had to leave in a hurry. Messing with them could be really dangerous. Let's leave them alone. 
kind of like where we're at. A lot of gas for that chainsaw, a lot of ammo. The group is sitting around a campfire. Finding this campsite was rough, so they are getting in a bad mood. Sing a song? Like big butts and I cannot lie, you other brothers can't deny. When a girl walks in with the itty bitty waist and the zombies in your face, you go, ah! <laughs> huh? Oh, Takako didn't like it. Plumbus liked it. Was it the big butts? Enough for everybody. The car is broken down from use and abuse. It won't start up again. I gotta try to fix it! Ah! Uh... Oh, darn it. Only two more days of food. The group is ambushed while crossing a rickety bridge over a river. The bandits demand a toll to cross. Ah, uh, Takako expected this. Takako expected an ambush, so she walked through the bridge alone, carrying nothing. The bandits are annoyed by her lack of stuff and crappy attitude, so they toss her over the bridge. It's not a bad fall. While this is happening, the other members sneak past the bridge with the supplies! Thanks, Takako. Good work. After a long hike, the group finds a nice clearing to set up camp. The weather is nice and the group is able to rest peacefully. Jeffrey No Pants rolls up his sleeves and starts tending to their wounds. Oh, nice! That only took one! Wow. While walking along the road, Columbus spots a gas station in the distance. Not a lot is there other than a cool looking muscle car next to the gas pump. It has the keys sitting on the dash. Muscle cars like this have slightly worse gas mileage than average and break down fast. They're easy to repair and very fast. Take it off a sweet jump. All right. Good thing we have lots of extra gas. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. We cannot afford the gas. Hermit's cabin. It's better have food. While trying to drive away from a big horde, the group takes a detour through the deep woods. After taking a wrong turn, they spot a cabin. There's smoke coming from the chimney. Oh. That's cool. Ah, take the chainsaw just in case. You leave the gun behind, but maybe take the Molotovs? I don't know if that's a good idea. It's a big horde. The music's getting pretty fast. Let's do it! Okay, let's uh, maybe get to shooting. Is a hermit. You guys want to get those? Not get these? You guys want to get that? Got any shotgun ammo? The hermit is slightly less infuriated now, but not by much. Well, what is it? I've got a lot of important hermit stuff to do. You want to join us on the death road? Of course, I'm not going to join you. I was doing behind before you brought the horde with you. The hermit isn't swayed by Jeffrey No Pants' charms. 
Can I take all your food? Medical supplies too? You mind? Thanks. Ooh, another chainsaw. Oh, you took it anyway, Takako? Alright, good stuff. Well, I wonder if we can both use that in the final showdown. I wonder how that works for divvying up the gas. Hmm. I wonder. Well, this is a fine mess, isn't it? Better hit the road. Only 12 food left, that's only two days. The group takes a wrong turn down a country road and comes across a house. Know me! Yay! The house is a large mushroom, nearly as big as a person. There's a little gated area outside with some sort of exotic rodent grunting inside of it. A gnome steps out of the house and starts shrieking and pointing at you. Hey, come along, little buddy. Nomi jumps onto his rodent thing. You have a zombie problem? That's gnome problem. The rodent rears back and whinnies dramatically. Ooh. I don't know how to make it. How would a rat whinny? Nomi points toward the horizon and winks. All right. Nomi is not strong, but Nomi has a great attitude. Nomi joins the team. I do not have enough food for Nomi. The golden egg was inside all our hearts the entire time. The group spots an extra tall pile of garbage near some buildings. It may be over 12 feet tall, literally got, oh, littering got pretty bad near the collapse of civilization. <gasps> extra large can of beans. Climb the garbage pile. Who should climb it? Uh, Takako, because I hate her weapon choices. Oh, I'll do it. I'm the leader. Jeffrey Nopants climbs the garbage pile. It collapses with him on it. Jeffrey Nopants' fitness increased, but he's hurt. Uh, garbage gets all over Jeffrey Nopants. It was worth it. It was all for the beans. Jeffrey Nopants' morale decreases. Well, that's just how it goes, isn't it? Sometimes it seems worth it to run past a horde instead of fighting. When we can, I guess. At the end of the day, the group hides in the drafty old house. Some zombies roam around outside and the doors of the house are barely on their hinges. Should someone barricade the house? Uh, let's just stay on watch all night. Can we take turns? No me. Time to prove yourself loyal to the group. Stay watch all night. Not trusting their ability to barricade the house, Nomi stays on watch all night instead. She is exhausted in the morning. Ah, uh, we need food! <laughs> ah! The car is running fine, but an error code shows up on the dashboard. The group has no idea what's wrong, so they pull over to see what is up. Except for no pants, carefully inspect it. Uh oh, it was a loose gas cap. I got this. Nice. The group is driving down a long stretch of road. No threats on the horizon, but not much else of interest either. Ooh. Oh, I gotta like, get at least one more food. I have like spare handguns now, right? Maybe I should trade the handgun for one food? Ooh, but she doesn't want that. Oh, I did just run out of ammo for the shotgun. Only one food, but that's enough food for one more day. I do have two chainsaws, though. Uh, 
Okay, I think with just me using the chainsaw is probably better at the end, because then I get all the gas. You don't have to worry about the other NPC using it properly. Oh, I don't even know how that works. Because if I take control of them to use the chainsaw, Jeffrey No Pants might die. I don't want to die. I know that sounds selfish. Let me sell it. Hope I find more shotgun ammo. So, what are you doing? Uh, no. <laughs> that place is weird. And Gruff Man, you're an ice cream, cream truck? The word ice cream has been crossed off with the sign shotgun shells? <laughs> wow, well, I do need shotgun shells, but I have no food to spare. I am very much white knuckling it. Hey, doggy! Hey, 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 hey. hey other doggy. <gasps> Yay, two more food. We may not die yet. The group meets a strange and menacing figure. He or she is wearing a mask and a robe. Oh, sorry. No food. I was hoping I'd find the person where I could trade gas for food, but that's okay. Let's get out of here. is driving through a ruined city when they end up being surrounded on all sides by a horde. They are funneled into the only place that looks defendable, a ruined mall. Ooh. One and a half hours of overwhelming odds. Oh, 30 shotgun shells. I guess I just ran out before. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I could just switch to Plumbus to use the Molotovs, I suppose, if I had to. Not bad. Sure. In case it comes up. I mean, it's going to get pretty intense, but we have no meat, which is great. Oh, there's a police officer. Security guard or something. Whoa. Zombies through the roof. You have infinite ammo, buddy? That's handy. <laughs> Ready to rock! Alright. Good. It's better than not being ready to rock at this point. Oh, there's another guy! Wow! Wow! Bat, I guess. Dang it, I dropped my machete. And I guess I got this aluminum bat. Oh no! I think one of the security guards is dead. bro. Alright, siege is over. Good stuff. I dropped my shotgun too. Am 
I panicking in a very realistic fashion? Did Nomi summon an extra gnome? I think Nomi summoned an extra gnome. Where'd my shotgun go? Somebody else take it. Knock on it. I hope it's not the security guard. Alright, I think there's nothing to take in this mall at all. It's just, yeah, just empty. Okay. Nothing here for us except survival. Which is important, too. Yeah, let's go. 170 at zombies. Ooh. All right. Well, I'm afraid that's all the time we have for today. If you had a fun time, hey, don't forget to follow. Share on social media so other people know of the silliness that is Jeffrey No Pants. Seriously, though, I really appreciate you being here. We'll be back tomorrow. Very least uh, at 7 with some Dishonored 2. And we got some Skyrim Special Edition Survival Mode on Sunday at 7, and maybe something in the afternoon on Sunday, too. But to be more specific, to O1 Ella, OX2, 47 Vrez, 7 Bullet, Alice Idra, another TTV viewer, Arctico, Christopher 24-1A2, Drap Snatch, Feels Good Man Long User Names, Girl Gamer Cute 2, Kata, Lurks, and Spafo. Thanks so much for joining me on this zombie-filled adventure today. I'm Jeffrey Nopants, and I will see you next time.